Earlier this year, Williams headed to Spain's famed circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia for pre-season testing, hoping for a step forward, a chance to recatch the back of the field after a dire 2019. And after six days, it looked like the potential was there, having set the seventh fastest time per team. George Russell on a 116.871 on the C5, Williams clocking the eighth highest mileage, more than 730 laps. All the while, Deputy Team Principal Claire Williams rallied the troops and banged the drum that the squad was down but not out. Is it Williams? We're fighters. We never give up. Um, two bad years don't define a team. And we have absolute ambitions to ensure that we put Williams um, back in the position that we feel that it deserves to be, and I'm responsible for ensuring that. But the COVID-19 crisis has been another setback for the squad, which runs on the sport's lowest budget. 2019 spend 125 million US dollars, 25 million less than nearest rival Haas. To ensure it remains afloat, one of Williams's most marketable assets is Mercedes protege George Russell, now in his second season. But arguably one of its most bankable is Canadian rookie Nicolas Latifi, who was Formula 2 runner-up and the squad's reserve driver in 2019. He's an incredibly diligent and intelligent um, man, so we know that he's going to be able to help drive performance forward through working with the engineering team, both trackside and during the simulator. But his father is multi-billionaire Michael Latifi, the founder of Canada's Sofina Foods, who in 2018 spent almost 250 million US dollars for a 10% stake in McLaren, before allegedly pumping in excess of 30 million dollars into Williams for his son's race drive via sponsorship deals with Safina Foods and its brands. While earlier this month, it was revealed that the team had refinanced its corporate borrowings following 2019's sale of its advanced engineering division, including a loan from Latifi-owned Latras Racing. No information has been reported on the amounts involved, but the team has offered its Grove factory and over 100 of its heritage cars as security. The loan package provides us with the resources that we need moving forward, Claire Williams said. Williams is one of F1's most iconic teams, and while fans have lamented its move towards pay drivers, its latest combatant Latifi could be the most important in ensuring it can fight back once racing begins. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.